Well, howdy guys. Uh, this is a uh, RDA in scale uh, on the Lahana Hutch and Pratt Mini Sub. Uh, we uh, we done the maintenance on the forty one forty one, and uh, um, and it turned out kind of good, and it's but it still has that little. Uh, it has that still has that little shimmer to it, so it could be that could be something in the uh, gears that's causing that. It could be um, it could be also this engine, like I think a lot of the factory engines that you get uh, may have a little bit too much uh, momentum, you know into them that needs to be turned down it could have too much of that in it i don't know um i know a lot of guys say that when they get their engines or whatever and that that the mill that the momentum is turned way up uh the factories turn them way up and it's up to the it's up to the user to uh turn them down and uh i guess make them make them right and uh but um, right now I don't really have the capability of doing too much adjustments or doing any adjustments at all right now. I don't, <clears throat> I did have a computer, didn't use it that much. And, and, uh, of course I just didn't have the, uh, I didn't have the JMR, JMRI and stuff like that to hook into it, to, to do it. I could have put it in there, but I just, I hadn't done it and basically just got my, engines and stuff as they were but um uh another thing a person can do when they have an engine like this if you have two or three other engines whether the engine is whether the engine is dcc or dc um uh, it doesn't matter how like if if i was to to if i was decide to pull the uh trucks out of this uh, 4141 and take them out of say like um my um <clears throat> my uh up my union pacific uh kd or or another engine as long as the trucks are the same color it's not really going to matter uh, i've ran them engines for for over two years so you get a little bit more wear in the gears if you're running them and you know and lubed them and stuff like that sometimes on these new engines it's just like a it's kind of like a new semi truck when you get a new semi truck or whatever and that or you're getting your new tractor say like you're working for a, a company or whatever and, that, and you get the new tractor or whatever and that unless the less the uh, guys in the shop go over and tighten up every nut and bolt and everything like that you're going to go down the road and you're going to hear bang 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 it's going to drive you nuts because every damn because every damn bolt and everything is not really tight because the factory all they want to do is put it together and then send the truck out and so i guess you could say it's kind of like the same thing with these trucks uh they're and the gears that's in them they're new so they're going to be, you know, they're going to be tight. They're going to be, uh, and, and even though that the plastic that's in the gears or that, uh, Delron, which is a really slick, slick, uh, type of, uh, plastic, they still have a tendency to, you know, until you get a little wear into them, uh, be as they are. But anyway, I'm going to start the engine up. And I'm running the I'm running the engine on my outer uh, on my outer uh, route now. Mm, I already had the already had the cab. You can see they already had the cab lights on. And I was letting it I was letting it run for a little bit, uh, and then I shut it down. Wanted to see how to do on the shutdown. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna 
I'm going to take the engine. I'm going to back up, grab those uh, cars that's back there uh, on the main back there. I'm going to grab them, pull them around here, pull them around about where the engine's at, and then I'm going to hook up to my excursions. I'm going to let the engine idle down. And I'm running on my, uh, I'm running on my NCE power cab here. And it shows that I'm pulling about six amps when I hit the horn or something. You can see that it jumps up to nine to 11 amps. And so we'll put it in reverse. I'm going to let you guys watch this and I'll just kind of be quiet and let you see how the engine does and you tell me what you think. At speed step two. Speed step three. follow the engine around the curb that's pushing my uh, <clears throat> Missouri Pacific uh, uh, Blueford shops wood chip car So I've got to get back over to the seat so I can watch once she hooks up. <clears throat> speed step one or speed step two. Now one. Should have had a good hook. Currently, she's pulling about thirteen to fourteen amps. And if if you if if you listen to the real if you listen to the real the real ones, this is exactly. I mean, they're close match. Uh, please uh, uh, subscribe, like, and uh, hit the bell, please, and uh, follow me to the next video that I'm going to do here. And I hope. 
Okay, guys, uh, hang on a second here. <clears throat> RDA in scale here, and uh, on this video, uh, like uh, the last one, please uh, subscribe, like, and uh, uh, hit that bell. And uh, uh, gonna try to uh, by Christmas. I'd like to uh, get a uh, hundred, uh, get a hundred subs. Um, I guess we all need to set goals or whatever and that, and for me, I'd like to, I'd like to set a, uh, hundred, uh, hundred, uh, subscriber goal, uh, if I can do that, uh, for me, that's pretty good, because I, there for a long time, I had, oh, about, oh, 25, 30, and I appreciate that, and then I, uh, 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 with talking with, uh, Cousin Vinny, Cousin Vinny, hope you're listening out there, he, uh, gave me a couple shout outs and I appreciate it, uh, totally, I'd like to meet Uncle Vinny, I call him Uncle Vinny, he's Cousin Vinny, but I call him Uncle Vinny, and I think of him like an Uncle Vinny, you know, he's... You know, when you got your elder statesmen out there or whatever, and that doing the thing out there, to me, that's that's like an uncle. That's not, you know. It, but Cousin Vinny's good, too. And I love old Cousin Vinny. And uh, uh, I tell you what, he's got a hell of a channel. Uh, 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 what he puts on there and the stuff that he does for people. And, uh, you know, uh, makes you proud to be uh, part of a... Uh, a group of uh, uh, folks like that when they're out there helping when they're out there helping others helping others and that uh, you know you can't beat that so I'd like to uh, if we can I'd like to get to 100 subs myself and uh, you know and uh, 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 but uh, uh, you can't do that unless you put some videos out here and show uh, show what you got and let people see and enjoy the uh, 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 the uh, what your stuff does and uh, 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 we're just letting uh, forty one forty one do its thing here and uh, we're gonna hush for a few minutes and uh, let forty one uh, take a few laps with the uh, 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 with the uh, freight cars, and then we'll uh, hook up to the excursions and that. So, and we'll speed forty one forty one up to. Wheel speed 41, 41 up to 16 speed steps. And kind of let her idle up a little bit. And And uh, we'll show you we'll show you the uh, Southern Pacific uh, lines uh, sign that I got there on my uh, water tower, and let you guys see that here, and we'll let you watch as the train passes uh, passes by. And that thing's pretty cool. You can change uh, you can change different patterns on it, and it's hooked into my track power. It's hooked into my uh, uh, my rail power thirteen seventy. Uh, uh, I'll show real quick. Uh, there's the little device right there that I uh, hooked that to, and there's the uh, there's the little command module, and you can change with that little button there, and you can shut it off if you want to. And then it's hooked, uh, it's hooked right into there, into that little block right there. I've got my, 
old planter's peanut over there and uh i'll probably hook him hook him up into that too uh because you can hook uh, i think uh seven or eight of those uh into that little uh, device there so uh of course i wouldn't mind just putting them on an individual thing or whatever and that and then uh you know going that route but uh i got old planters playing that panter blah, blah, blah. <laughs> planters peanut up there on top of that little deal there on that little uh white uh uh hollow tube there And just looking as the cars go by, just trying to see. Looking as the cars go by, there's just a little slack in the cars, but not very much. Uh, that uh, last car, that tank car, I want to get some more of them. Uh, that is my uh, uh, Atlas tank car, and I, I tell you what, I didn't realize how Atlas on some of their tank cars how good of a deal they do on them you know i thought atherin had some good tank cars and there's my atherin over there i thought atherin had some good tank cars and uh, some of these other companies but i'll tell you what uh that little atlas tank car and heck the darn thing was only 19 dollars. i think is all i paid for it maybe maybe 20 maybe 22 or 23 but i think it was only 19 bucks Hey, what? That was a hell of a buy. We're going to kind of do a fly over here. And kind of do a drone, drone look here. And kind of do an above shot. And the reason why on the engine I didn't, well, I wasn't running her real fast because I was just kind of letting her, after uh, putting that uh, uh, grease in the joints and uh, and uh, and those areas there, I kind of just wanted to let her, oh, uh, kind of go at a, at a, I guess you call it a slow but medium pace. And I've got her. I've got her running at uh, 16 speed steps, uh, 11 to 13 amps on the uh, controller. And uh, we'll uh, give a. Uh, shot with the uh, uh, horn here and I'll tell you what that horn sounds really good that definitely sounds like a UP uh, like a UP horn And uh, my video will be ending here pretty soon because we'll be at uh, be at nine minutes. So uh, uh, I'm going to say here again, uh, please uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, give me a big like. Uh, give me a uh, ring that bell. And uh, uh, I, I would like to get to 100, 100 subscribers if I can. And, um, you know, please give me the comments. I mean, you know, leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. I mean, you know, um, don't be bashful. You know, hey, you know, just, you know, tell me what you think. You know, um, I know sometimes I might be a little blabby on here, but, you know, I'm just kind of, <laughs> kind of giving a little ex expl ex explanation or, uh, or, uh, I enjoy talking about my layout, I guess I could say. So, uh, uh, we're going to do another video. Uh, keep following, and we'll have one.
Okay, here's the third installment. Uh, uh, we're going to uh, uh, take uh, Bush uh, 4141 around one more time, and uh, we will uh, uh this engine, this engine, uh, and how you guys doing, uh, uh, this is the third installment, uh, this is, uh, uh, RDA in scale, and this is Alan, and, uh, we're doing the third installment here, uh, on the layout, and, uh, trying to get a hundred, uh, trying to get a hundred, uh, 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 hundred subs here, and, uh, um, uh, please, uh, subscribe if you haven't, like, and, uh, Give me a like and uh, hit that old bell, please, and please comment. Uh, but um, we uh, got the maintenance done, uh, as I mentioned in my other videos, got the maintenance done on my 4141. And so we thought we would uh, let her pull a couple laps uh, and sounded pretty good. Um, uh, on my outer route, I've got uh, four uh, Kato uh, um, power joiners. I've got one just on the other side of this switch here. I've got one right there, and we'll back over here, and we've got a we got a power joiner just right there at that curve. We have one over there right before that curve. And then we've got one over there, right? Uh, uh, you can see the switch there, but that's my inner round on the other side of that we've got there. So we got four. We got four power uh, power joiners uh, on this uh, uh, outer route, and I think the engine is doing pretty good. Uh, we may do like we did on the inner route. We may. We may, if things uh, if things go pretty good this month, maybe next month we may uh, get us another uh, SB5 and uh, and uh, so we can uh, uh, so we can go a little more forward into the excuse me, go a little bit more forward into the uh, train running and uh, have a little bit more you know, to where we can run more trains and stuff. Of course, I think uh, we don't really have any issues running four or five engines, uh, sound engines. Uh, my minimum is usually uh, two, uh, maybe three. And so, um, but, uh, and they do very well. So, we're going to bring uh, 41, 41 around here. And uh, we'll park the... Uh, uh, we'll park the freight, and then we will, uh, we'll park the freight, and then we will, um, uh, uh, hook up to the, uh, excursion cars. So, you're gonna hear her slow down here. Okay, let's see if we can unhook this without any problems. The phone decided to have a little bit of jump for some reason. I don't know why. Guess she wanted to take a vacation. Well, let's do this off cam. I'm going to do this off here. Uh, I'm going to pause and then we'll put her back on. Sometimes it's just best to, uh, sometimes it's just best to do this, uh, uh, while it's on pause so that way you don't mess anything up or, 
or uh, you drop the camera. The engine you can see has just a little, just a little stutter to it. I don't know if you can see it in the in the deal. We'll, uh, we'll make the camera real still so you can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. She has just a little stutter. I mean, but I think she's getting a little better. Probably that uh, that lube. That I done on the gears, and I didn't put a whole bunch on there, but uh, it's either you have too damn much or you don't have enough. That usually that's usually the case. Either you don't have enough or you have too much. And I like to have I like to have enough, but I don't want to overdo it either. But we will show the engine moving by itself, and it looks like to me she's done doing fairly well I know one thing when I seen when I seen uh, this engine uh, uh, pull uh, Grandpa Bush's uh, uh, funeral deal and I had a tear in my eye I tell you what you know, I tell you what, it was, that was something else. And it was even more, it was even more touching when you seen 41. Hang on just a second, I want to, I got to take a little sip of something here and I'll be right back. It was even more touching uh, to see, uh, to see uh, when 41, uh, 4141 got to uh, uh, got to uh, be behind uh, 4014. When she uh, that was that was something else. When she got to be behind 4014, that was, that was, uh, that was really, uh, that was really cool. Okay, this is what we really like to pull. This is what we really like to pull. And we'll go into, uh, we'll go into, uh, uh, one more, uh, one more segment. And we hope you guys, uh, we hope you guys subscribe, like, and, uh, uh, and, uh, ring the bell, please. And, uh, uh, we hope you're enjoying these videos and, uh, and, uh, uh, Maybe we can get up to uh, 100 uh, subscribers. So, uh, 
Okay, we're going to uh, bring uh, 41, 41 around. And we will park her right there. And we decided to put the uh, caboose uh, UP uh, uh, 12. If I can read that, I don't think that's 12. That's uh, uh, 24, two, no, 24, 5. Is that 520 or 528? My eyes are. I believe that's UP two or UP two fifty four twenty eight. My eyes are getting to be something else anymore. It's time to go in for a service call myself and get me some new glasses. Lord Almighty. Okay, we're gonna put this on pause a minute, and. Uh, uh, so we can uh, clean my spectacles. That'll help me see a little bit more. And so I can also uh, get ready to uh, move these uh, uh, because it's kind of hard to run uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> the excursion train when we got the freight on here. So we're going to get the freight off off of the uh, going to get the freight off the main here, and then we'll. Uh, We'll let 4141 just sit there for just a few minutes, and then uh, as soon as we get this freight off of here, we'll uh, take the excursions around for just a few minutes. So hang on just a second. Be about a minute or two minutes. Maybe less. Probably less. Okay, we're back. And we, uh, we, uh, whoops. Okay, we accidentally hit one of my cars here when I was trying to make sure that my uh, engine, uh, my Atlas engine 220, 2230, I uh, I keep my engines uh, put up in my box. Uh, most of them uh, stay in the box, so I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, um, I don't bring them. I don't bring them out a whole bunch, but when I do, uh, that's uh, I keep them in my box. So, but uh, we are going to hit recall and hit number three. We're gonna power up twenty two thirty. And we're going to let her idle up here a minute. And for the sake of, uh, so you can hear not both of them running. We will shut down forty one forty one for this for for a second or two.
Okay. Twenty-two thirty uh, roll out here onto the and make sure I think yeah, we got her on the to make sure all the wheels were sometimes with those small wheels it's kind of hard to make sure that you've got her uh, fully aligned on the onto the rails okay you can hear the brakes you can hear the brakes uh, uh, locking up on the uh, on uh, 2230 there you can hear him walking up and that's kind of cool about shows about eight amps uh when i'm running uh uh And we'll pull pull this consist pull this consist around and we will slow twenty two thirty down. We'll be going into another another segment here. And we'll move uh, 41 41. And keep following us to the next video. Okay. We're into another segment. And this is what's fun. These segments only last ten minutes, but they got good quality, uh, good quality on them. So we're gonna, uh, uh, they don't cut nothing out, or they don't uh, diminish on the quality, uh, uh, 
course, we need to turn uh, uh, 41 41's light on or whatever, and that, or I'll be hit with a, a, a deal from the uh, <laughs> uh, uh, somebody from the uh, transportation uh, department will come after me. Yeah, but we will uh, bring 4141 to a stop right there. And I think uh, we should be... That should be her parking brake, I think. Yep. Okay. With her parking brake set, we'll go ahead and move This is uh, this is what's fun about running uh, running DCC. Uh, the experience of it is uh, quite fun because what you can do, what you can do with it. I've got uh, as you can see, I've basically got a small oval re uh, small oval layout, and I'm making the most of it. And you can do that. If you have DCC, you can make you can make operations on an oval layout about as fun as what you can make it on a uh, big layout that's uh, in your whole room, uh, two other rooms, three other rooms, five other rooms, and ten other rooms. Uh, and uh, uh, it's about as fun as a, a barrel of monkeys. And uh, uh, but I would like to have a bigger layout. <laughs> Believe me. I would definitely like to have a bigger layout. And sorry, I didn't have this on there so you could see this uh, this uh, moving back here. Length is definitely a virtue. Um, if you, uh, have like these, uh, uh, two long parallel tracks that I got here, uh, you can, uh, you can make the most out of them, but you do tend to still run out of, uh, run out of, uh, area, so you have to make the most of it. So... Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to pause this just a second so I can figure out where I want to cut my cars here. <laughs> 